Gals, it's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And I'm out here in my shop this evening. It's uh, going on 6 o'clock. And I had to take my wife to do some errands today. And uh, one place we stopped at, we only stopped at one thrift store. But I found this nice piece of brass. And this is solid brass, by the way. This is not just brass plated. I cut the bottom end off of it. See that? That's brass. It's not brass plated. And you say, well, George, what are you thinking about doing with that thing? Well, as soon as I saw it, I thought about my tailpipe for the goofy cart. And look at that. It's a perfect slide-on fit. All I'd have to do is put a tech screw, one on either side, to hold that puppy in place. Now, I'm not sure if I should leave this piece here on there or not. I suppose it might add to the look of it, but unless I solder it solid in place, it's liable to bounce around and I don't think we want that. But I thought it would give it a little bit more of a, I don't know, Art Deco or what's, what's the latest thing? See, I could do it this way. Could go underneath like that. Nah, I think I'm going to keep it the way I had it, like this. Yeah, I think that's the way it's going to go. Uh, steampunk, yeah, steampunk. Kind of goes along with some of the other steampunk stuff I got, you know, like my uh, gas tank mounts and uh, some of those kind of things, you know. So uh, let me know what you think. Just a quickie. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll get to doing some actual work on this thing. I've been working on lawnmowers, as you know, and one of them is going to my son. I just need to change the oil on that one, and it will be gone. That one is sitting over there on the floor, and the red one is already gone, already sold. I had it out for about an hour. Somebody came by, I had it out for $25, a best offer. And the guy offered me $20, and I said, it's yours. Take it. And I told him it doesn't run perfect, but it starts and runs. And I have the other one out there. Um, that one, let me see if I can zoom in. Uh, this, Yeah, it's, it's focusing. That one I have listed for $60, or best offer. Because it has the bagger on it, you know, and it it runs really really nice another beautiful day here in southeastern minnesota just a wisp of a cloud up there in the sky and the sun is starting to set and i had my own lawnmower out got it started and i'm gonna have to clear off the lift because i've got to bring out the arians um what is it called the arians Emperor. That's right. Arian's Emperor. I have two Arian's ride on mowers. For those of you who have been around for a while, you will remember the one that I have had for a number of years now. Probably five years or more. This one is my uh, Arian's Classic, also known as a Fairway. It's from the 70s. And then this is my Emperor over here which you can see the motor is apart and uh, I've, I'm outfitting it with electric start and I'm going to put a new carburetor on it and uh, all that good stuff and it needs some other work done and I bought it with the idea of fixing this one to keep and, and then selling my older one but that remains to be seen we'll see whoa back out there buddy it remains to be seen which one actually functions the best when I get it done. Um, this one here, the Emperor, will give me more leg room, I think. But, yeah. So that's where we're at today. We're in the beginning of May. Thanks for watching and for commenting. And uh, just for a parting shot. Just, just for a tantalizer. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. 
Look at them apples. Mm. Gotta love it. Bye now.